All right, here at Longmont Public Media, a lot of times we have events where you want to set up for sound just like this, and you want to record it on one of our cameras. And there's a lot of things involved in it, and we're going to show you right now how to do that. First thing is to make sure that the audio and the main speakers are turned on. The first thing you want to do is turn on the audio before you turn on the main speakers. So when you're turning them on, turn on audio first, then main speakers, so that you don't pop the speakers. All right, so that's, these are both on right now, so they're ready to go. Once you plug, turn those both on, you're going to want to plug in a mic, just like this. Plug it in, this box down here, into the main spot. Totally helpful to do it in the right direction, but yes. Plug, in, plug your microphone, the one that looks like that, and then it will plug in down here, and then use gaffer tape to make sure no one trips, falls, or rips the plug out of the socket. All right, when you're setting up the Blackmagic cameras, you're going to take these two inputs, which are right by the wall here, which you can see, they'll be hanging right by the wall. They should not be moving, they should not be going anywhere. You're gonna take them, you're going to plug them into the side of the camera like so. Don't worry, it's going to be the top two that you can plug into. You don't need to plug into the headphone jack. Just plug these two into the top two inputs. Then, on the camera, make sure they're set to XLR2 mic on both of these so they can pick up the audio. Okay, so you're gonna get on your iPad or on your phone, it doesn't matter which. Once you've turned on the audio over there on that box, then you can go to, you're gonna set your Wi-Fi network to SPS2. Once it says to SPS2, then you're going to go to 10.10.2.1. Don't worry, it's written on this box, the box over here, and if you need help, someone here can help you find that out. We'll write it down on the wiki page that you're probably finding this at. But come to 10.10.2.1, and this will display. It will display on your phone. Make sure your, thing, your, your device is in landscape mode, so, as so. And then you're gonna have to do a few things. First, let's click here on mixing game, make sure it's red. This, will, this is where, what you'll need to set to make sure that your microphone input is set correctly to make sure that it's actually picking, the microphone is actually picking up sound when it's going into the mixer. Then when it's orange, this will actually tell you your output to make sure that sound is actually coming out of the speakers. So when, you, so when the mixer is orange, you will adjust this, will adjust, so I plugged in this to channel one, so now channel one is my microphone. And so when I turn this volume up, that turns up the volume on the microphone. But nothing will happen, the speakers won't make any volume until I adjust the master volume. Once the master volume is up, that adjusts the full volume on the speakers and everything that's plugged into the, to the speakers. But if I want sound to go from that camera I just plugged into and go into vMix, then the way I need to do that is to actually adjust the aux sends. So by clicking on aux sends and clicking on and adjusting channel one and making sure that when I talk into that mic comes out the volume that I want to hear it at, then all that sound will go to vMix, which we will show you right now. Okay, this is vMix. And as you can see, we've got our graphic, we've got our, we have our different shots and our different cameras. One camera is off, and then we have the other two getting an input. This, on this camera, this is the camera that's on the opposite side. You can hear the volume of everything going on in the studio, but we don't want that volume. We don't want the sound coming in from the studio. We want the sound that is coming directly from the microphone. And that is coming in from this one, camera four. So the way we would make sure that we're getting in just the body audio from camera four is we turn off the audio coming from the other two sources and then we just get the audio coming in from camera four and once and as long as this is the only one green then that will be the only one that we're getting audio from and now you are ready to stream from the studio and get excellent quality mic audio 
from the microphone or whatever you have plugged into the audio system.